We found some more Aldi products to review. They are upping their game. They are. These are the Elevation Keto Bars Macadamia Nut Flavor. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So yeah, uh, all these seems to be upping their game. They're having a lot of what they're labeling as keto products. I heard a, I heard a, 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 a c -c 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 come out of your mouth because you're almost thinking Costco. Right. They have such a variety of snack products now. It's kind of amazing. And at the Aldi's price point, which yes. is usually really good. Yep. So these are the Elevation Keto Bars. Now this is the macadamia nut flavor. They did have another flavor. I want to say it was like some kind of a strawberry or something but macadamia nut kind of always is what's going to pull me in. It is. It's always going to go with keto. And I have to say, I, I taste a lot of like hazelnut type of bars, mm -hmm. almonds usually go that. I don't think I've had a lot of macadamia nut flavored bars. Now, when we first got started on keto, we did eat a lot of the other elevation bars, yeah. like their version of Lower carb. Atkin bars. Yeah. Uh, and they were good. And then we tried getting, we started to want to get away from a lot of the ingredients that were in there and moving more towards a total carb cap protocol because we were eating a couple of them a day at that time. But it's nice to know that there's some grab and go options. Yep. If you're going on vacation, you're looking for like a better alternative to like the kid food that's out there that's in a wrapper. Um, this might be a good helper. Yeah. So we have not had these. You can see I just opened up the box. They've been sitting on the shelf. It does say right on the front, 16 grams of fat, four net carbs, nine protein, two sugar. Are they filling that whole bag? This bag, is, it's a pretty decent okay. size. I wasn't sure. It kind of looks like, you know, a potato chip bag a little bit, like a big, big package, but a little bit in there. Okay. It's that, pretty, it's, it's pretty heavy. I've got to say, that's not how I expected it to look because it's making it kind of look like it was going to be I thought it was in, chocolate covered. Well, and I thought it was chocolate covered and I thought it was in like four pieces. All right. Dink, Dink it. It smells like very nutty. It's chewy. It's bland. Okay, no, I mean, it's, it's, like, it's, like, a, it's like peanut mac buttery. Macadamia nuts, what's great about them is their mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. When you turn it into peanut butter, there's not, I don't know, there's not a lot to it. Um, It definitely has like a peanut buttery taste. I'm gonna have a little more More peanut butter. Or, mm -hmm. It's I mean, not super sweet. It's not super sweet at all. This, yeah, it is not. I mean, no. I could like these, especially on, on a road trip. I like seeing all of the nuts in there too. I'm thinking like going to Keto Palooza. Mm -hmm. I can see this as a road trip. Let's check. Let's take a look at the ingredients. And Decent stuff. amount of saltiness. Five things. Five things. Five things. If you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Number Don't one it. is the ingredients. Okay. Wow, I'm pretty impressed. Like, I'm really impressed, actually. All right. Peanuts. That's why it tastes like peanuts. Tapioca fiber syrup, macadamia nuts, whey protein, dark chocolate coating, which is a chocolate liqueur, erythritol inulin, cocoa butter, soy lecithin, vanilla, and stevia. Then we have almonds, coconut oil, and sea salt. Wow. Okay, so there's no sweetener other than the tapioca fiber syrup. That's kind of amazing. Which is kind of amazing, but it also means they're playing the fiber game. So we're using tapioca fiber syrup as the sweetener. So there's that. You that know, overall, no sugar added. 
Yeah, overall, it's not bad, but tapioca fiber syrup always kind of like raises the red flag for me. So like, I would absolutely not be uh, deducting that if you're following a net carb protocol. Okay. Okay. So let's look at the nutrition facts. Number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? So there's there's four um, bars inside of this box. Mm -hmm. Each bar is 210 calories, 16 grams of fat, nine grams of proteins, 15 total carb, 11 dietary fiber. That's what he's talking about with the fiber game. There's a lot of dietary fiber. Mm -hmm. And then um, no added sugar alcohols. Yeah. So yeah, so that's why they're coming up with four net They're carbs. saying four net carbs. I'm in Illinois products of the United States. <laughs> I'm gonna, me personally, if I eat these, I'm counting all the carbs. Yeah. I don't trust fiber syrups. I just don't trust them. And we say all the time, like if you wanted to deduct something and we talked to Maria Emmerich recently, uh, I'll leave a link for that video right over Rachel's head. And she said the same thing. If you're gonna do like net carbs, don't deduct fiber. Deduct yeah. the sugar alcohols, things like allulose and erythritol, but do not deduct fiber because of like this fiber, fiber game, game and here's what's going to happen you make the decision to not deduct fiber let's say your body doesn't digest that okay what's the worst that's going to happen at the end of the day you're you're a winner you're a winner right so you thought you ate 15 total carbs maybe you didn't but your body doesn't digest it and you only ate four guess what that's 11 less carbs that your body has to go through before it gets to the fat, so you win. And again, we always say there's no magic in the number 20. No. Have one of these and up your total carbs- 30 or 40. To 30 or even 40, have a cap, because now that's gonna allow you to have this and then still have some other stuff. But if 90% of your food is meat, or eggs, or maybe even a little bit of cheese, you can still fit this into even a 20 total carb. If you say this is 15, and then you have steak and eggs and bacon and a little bit of cheese, you're still probably lower than 20 total carbs or at least 25 total carbs, so you're good. Oh yeah, you got so you plenty can, of room. You can fit this in counting the total carbs on it. Absolutely. Number three, how do they taste? I'm actually very impressed. I like them. when I. They're not sweet and I when, like that about when them. When I came into this product review, my memory of what the Elevation Bars tasted like. Atkins Bars. This is very different, okay? Mm -hmm. The other ones are like chocolate coated and it tasted- Chemically. Well, it tasted more desserty. Mm -hmm. If you remember like a Cliff Bar, something that you would pack as like a chewy option for a granola type bar, mm -hmm. um, more that like, you know, a healthy bar yeah. in, in, in your mind, like a kind bar, something like that, mm -hmm. where it's not super sweet. This isn't desserty. This isn't replacing a candy bar. It's more like a Cliff Bar. So yeah. now that, that I'm in the right zone, I'm, you know, then, then I really enjoy it because this is delicious just for what it is. Yeah, I, I'm i shocked by the taste. It is not sweet. No. It's kind of more on a like, not a granola bar. It's like a cross between a granola bar and a keto bar kind of desserty bar. So it, it, it reminds me a little bit of like a peanutty payday. Yeah. But not doesn't a lot of crumble. sweetness to it. So I really like that about it. It's like, it's a granola bar that doesn't crumble. Yeah. Number four, here's the impressive part. How much do they cost? This is Aldi. It's five dollars a box. Wow. So that's a dollar twenty-five a bar. That is super cheap for a keto treat yeah. bar of any sort. Yeah, so you it's kind of like hard to get past five dollars for the box. It's macadamia. And nuts. there's four in a box, so it's a dollar twenty-five. Those aren't cheap. No. It's and it's I mean at a dollar twenty-five a serving. You know, it's a great grab thing who I'm really going to. Well, let's talk about it. number five. Would we recommend it? And I was going to say, I would absolutely recommend this for kids lunch boxes. This is a perfect treat. Well, here's the thing. It has peanuts in it. So you okay, can't. Okay, so not go to school. Yeah. So if you're, if you're at home or you're going to. Snacks. You're going to the zoo. You're going to the beach for the day. You're going on a hike. And that's adult or child. This would be something great for the backpack. I actually love the fact that it doesn't got doesn't have so much chocolate on the outside. So it's not going to melt and be a really, mess. Really? The chocolate is just the chocolate chips. It's not going to be a mess all over yourself. So, you know, sometimes you hand the kid like a kudos bar or something like that. And I mean, just they're wearing it. It's just 
destroyed their outfit. So this is a nice alternative for that. And I can totally see grabbing this and going on a hike mm -hmm. for the day. And as far as, is there coconut in here? Because Cocoa I feel like- butter. Coconut, coconut oil. Coconut oil. I don't know about you, but I feel, it must be almonds. Yeah, I'm getting these little things that are like almost like on the roof of my mouth and I'm thinking they're, it's coconut slivers, but it's the almonds, it's slivered almonds. Well, and the macadamia nuts. Mm -hmm. So as far as recommending it on keto, I'm gonna recommend it so long as you're careful. Don't yeah. eat a bunch of them a day. And again, I highly advise you to count all of the carbs in one of these bars. I think you'll be happier if you do that. So uh, let us know down in the comment section if you've tried these and also let us know if you've tried the other flavor. Yeah. Like I said, I could definitely see these having a place in my life. Not road every trip. day, but a road trip, especially Camping. if you're on the road and you're like, hey, I want something. A lot of times you can come across an Aldi depending on where you are in the country. And knowing that you could run into Aldi, grab one of these so nice. without spending a fortune on it and they're shelf stable. These were not in the refrigerated section. I think no. that's really good. Let us know down in the comment section if you've tried these or the other flavor. If you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other re review videos we have right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we find something new, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.